Hello, wonderful viewers. Welcome back to A Quick Note. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Nikola Tesla, a brilliant mind whose inventions changed the face of technology. From his pioneering work in electricity to his unconventional lifestyle, Tesla's story is nothing short of captivating. Before we explore more, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content that sparks curiosity. Early Life and Education Let's dive into the fascinating beginnings of Nikola Tesla. Born on July 10, 1856, in the village of Smilian, which was part of the Austrian Empire back then, but is now in Croatia, Tesla came from an interesting family. His dad, Malutin Tesla, was an Eastern Orthodox priest, and his mom, Doka Tesla, was quite the innovator. She not only came up with nifty household gadgets but also had this incredible talent for remembering really long Serbian epic poems. Tesla was always quick to give credit to his mom for kick-starting his passion for inventing and gifting him a memory that could outshine a computer. Speaking of family, he had a brother named Dane and three sisters, Angelina, Milka, and Marika. Right from the beginning, you could say Tesla's world was a colorful blend of religion, creativity, and a lively bunch of siblings. Zooming into 1870, Tesla kicked off his high school journey at the Higher Real Gymnasium in Karlovitz, Austria. It was in his physics class that the sparks really flew for him. The teacher's mind-blowing electricity demos left Tesla hungry for more knowledge about this incredible force. Now, here's where it gets impressive. While most of us are still figuring out basic math, Tesla was doing integral calculus in his head. Talk about a brainiac. He aced high school in a flash, wrapping it up in just three years and tossing his cap in 1873. With his sights set on an engineering career, Tesla took the plunge and joined the Austrian Polytechnic Institute in Graz in 1875. Here, he delved into the world of a Gram Dynamo, an electrical powerhouse that churns out direct current. As Tesla tinkered and toiled, he made a fascinating discovery, when the current's direction in the dynamo flipped, it started acting like an electric motor. Cue the light bulb moment. His brain buzzing with ideas, Tesla began envisioning how this alternating current, AC, could revolutionize industrial applications. Although he didn't toss a graduation cap into the air, a pretty common trend back then, Tesla earned top-notch grades. The dean of the technical faculty even wrote a letter to Tesla's father, declaring, your son is a star of first rank. Now, that's not a report card you see every day. Choosing a path of focus and concentration, Tesla decided to forego marriage or any known romantic entanglements. In Margaret Cheney's 2001 book, Tesla, Man Out of Time, she unveils Tesla's belief that he wasn't up to snuff for relationships, viewing women as superior beings in every aspect. Interestingly, as Tesla aged, he didn't shy away from sharing his strong opinions. He openly expressed a disdain for what he dubbed the new woman, those he felt were ditching their feminine qualities in a bid to take charge and dominate men. Tesla's views on love and relationships were as intriguing and complex as his inventions. The Path to Alternating Current Fast forward to 1881, and Tesla's off to Budapest, Hungary. There, he dives into the electric world as the chief electrician at the Central Telephone Exchange, getting hands-on practical experience. In 1882, he takes his skills to the City of Lights, Paris, joining the Continental Edison Company. Now, this was the era of Thomas Edison's direct current-powered indoor incandescent lighting system, patented in 1879. Tesla, with his wizardry in engineering and physics, quickly catches the eye of the bigwigs at the company. Before you know it, 
They've got him not only fixing glitches in Edison's facilities across France and Germany but also putting his brain power into designing better versions of generating dynamos and motors. Edison's got competition in his own camp. In a twist of transatlantic fate, when the head honcho at the Continental Edison facility in Paris packed his bags for the US in 1884, he didn't forget to send Tesla an invitation stateside. So, in June 1884, Tesla makes the jump across the pond and sets foot in the land of opportunity, landing a gig at the Edison machine works in the bustling New York City. At this point, Edison's direct current, DC, electrical lighting system, is the talk of the town. But, hold on to your hats. Just half a year later, Tesla slams the door on Edison after a heated showdown about unpaid wages and bonuses. In his diary, aptly titled Notebook from the Edison Machine Works, 1884-1885, Tesla doesn't mince words. Across two pages, he boldly scrawls, goodbye to the Edison Machine Works. The sparks were flying, but not the kind Edison had in mind. March 1885 marks a pivotal moment for Tesla. Backed by the financial muscle of Robert Lane and Benjamin Vale, he launches his own lighting utility company, the Tesla Electric Light and Manufacturing. Here's the twist, instead of Edison's incandescent lamps, Tesla's outfit rocks a direct current, DC, powered arc lighting system, a brainchild born during his Edison machine works days. While Tesla's arc light system earns nods for its innovation, his backers, Lane and Vale, aren't too keen on his visions for perfecting and embracing alternating current, AC. In 1886, they pull the plug on Tesla's venture to start their own gig. This abrupt exit leaves Tesla in a tight spot, financially strapped and scrambling for a lifeline. He rolls up his sleeves, taking on electrical repair gigs and even doing some good old ditch digging for a humble $2 per day. Tesla later reflects on this rough patch, saying, my high education in various branches of science, mechanics, and literature seemed to me like a mockery. The school of hard knocks wasn't giving him any breaks. In the throes of near destitution, Tesla's determination to showcase the supremacy of alternating current, AC, over Edison's direct current, DC, only intensified. The tough times fueled his fire, pushing him to prove that his ideas were not just sparks in the dark but a shining beacon of innovation. Alternating current and the induction motor. In April 1887, Tesla joins forces with his backers, Western Union Telegraph bigwig Alfred S. Brown and legal eagle Charles F. Peck, to birth the Tesla Electric Company right in the heart of New York City. Their mission? To dive into the realm of electric motors and generators, dreaming up groundbreaking designs that would send shockwaves through the industry. The Tesla Electric Company was officially in business, poised to light up the world with its electric ambitions. Fast forward to Tesla's genius at work. In no time, he cooks up a game-changer, a spanking new electromagnetic induction motor powered by alternating current, AC. Stamping his mark of innovation, Tesla secures a patent for this marvel in May 1888. And let me tell you, this motor wasn't just a fancy gadget, it was a game-changer. Tesla's creation was a triple threat, simple, reliable, and immune to the nagging repair issues that haunted motors guzzling on direct current, DC, at the time. It wasn't just a motor, it was a revolution on wheels. July 1888 marks a pivotal moment in Tesla's journey. He seals the deal of a lifetime, selling his precious patent for alternating current, AC, powered motors to none other than the visionary George Westinghouse's Westinghouse Electric Corporation. This wasn't just a sale, it was a jackpot for Tesla. In this lucrative agreement, Westinghouse Electric snags the rights to unleash Tesla's AC motor on the world. But that's not all, they also bring Tesla on board as a consultant, recognizing his genius and ensuring, 
that his innovative spirit continues to shape the electric landscape. The wheels of progress were turning, and Tesla was riding high on the AC wave. Cue the drama. With Westinghouse firmly in the alternating current, AC, Camp and Edison firmly rooting for direct current, DC, the electrifying clash was inevitable. This clash of titans, pitting AC against DC, would go down in history as the War of the Currents. The stage was set, and sparks were about to fly, not just in circuits, but in the battle for electrical supremacy. The showdown was on. The War of the Currents, Tesla vs. Edison. Edison, realizing that alternating current, AC, held both economic and technical advantages over his beloved direct current, DC, kicked off an unprecedented PR blitz. His goal? To smear AC's reputation by portraying it as a lethal threat, something folks should never allow into their homes. Edison and his crew took their campaign on the road, staging grim public demonstrations where animals met their end via AC electricity. Things took a dark turn when New York State sought a more efficient, supposedly humane alternative to hanging for executing condemned prisoners. Despite his past opposition to capital punishment, Edison suggested an AC-powered electrocution method. In 1890, William Kemmler, a murderer, became the unfortunate test subject. Strapped into an electric chair secretly designed by one of Edison's own salesmen and powered by a Westinghouse AC generator, Kemmler became the first person to be executed in this chilling manner. The currents of the War of the Currents were not just in wires, they were coursing through a sinister chapter in history. Edison gave it his all, but try as he might, he couldn't tarnish the reputation of alternating current, AC. In a showdown that echoed the ongoing rivalry, Westinghouse and Edison's new venture, General Electric, went head-to-head -head in 1892 for the prestigious contract to power the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago. When the dust settled, Westinghouse emerged victorious, clinching the contract. The World's Fair became the grand stage for a spectacular showcase of Tesla's AC system. The dazzling lights that lit up the fairgrounds were a testament to the triumph of AC, marking a public victory for Tesla and Westinghouse. The currents had spoken, and AC was the reigning star. Following their triumph at the World's Fair, Tesla and Westinghouse scored a groundbreaking deal to construct generators for a revolutionary hydroelectric power plant at Niagara Falls. This was no small feat, and in 1896, the power plant came to life, sending the magic of alternating current, AC, electricity 26 miles away to light up Buffalo, New York. At the grand opening ceremony, Tesla captured the significance of this achievement in his speech, stating, it signifies the subjugation of natural forces to the service of man, the discontinuance of barbarous methods, the relieving of millions from want and suffering. The power of Niagara Falls harnessed for the betterment of humanity, a true testament to the potential of electricity to transform lives. The triumph at the Niagara Falls power plant solidified Tesla's alternating current, AC, as the undisputed standard for the electric power industry. This monumental success effectively brought an end to the war of the currents. The rumbles of competition quieted, and Tesla's AC emerged victorious, powering the way forward for the electric future. The currents had settled, and AC reigned supreme. The Tesla Coil In 1891, Tesla introduced the world to his ingenious creation, the Tesla Coil. This electrical transformer circuit had a unique talent, generating high voltage, low current alternating current, AC, electricity. While it's mostly in the spotlight today for its dazzling and electrifying demonstrations, the Tesla coil played a crucial role in the evolution of wireless communications. Beyond the captivating light shows, the Tesla coil's inductor found itself at the heart of early radio technology. 
its resonance and efficiency made it an essential component in the antennas of many pioneering radio transmission systems. Even in our modern age, the legacy of the Tesla coil lives on in the unseen currents of wireless communication. After patenting the Tesla coil in 1891, Tesla embarked on a whirlwind of experiments that showcased the coil's versatility. His ingenuity knew no bounds as he delved into radio remote control, fluorescent lighting, X-rays, electromagnetism, and the ambitious concept of universal wireless power transmission. In the midst of his groundbreaking work, Tesla had another milestone in 1891, he became a naturalized United States citizen on July 30, marking his official commitment to his adopted homeland at the age of 35. Tesla's journey continued to be a symphony of innovation and dedication to pushing the boundaries of science and technology. Radio Remote Control In a spectacular display at the 1898 Electrical Exposition in Boston's Madison Square Gardens, Tesla unveiled his Telautomaton, a three-foot-long marvel of a boat. This radio-controlled vessel, propelled by a small battery-powered motor and rudder, left the audience in awe. The onlookers were so astounded that some speculated Tesla must be using telepathy, a trained monkey, or perhaps pure magic to guide the boat. Despite the crowd's amazement, consumer interest in radio-controlled devices was lukewarm at best. Undeterred, Tesla aimed high and attempted to sell his teleautomatics concept to the U.S. Navy, envisioning it as a form of radio-controlled torpedo. However, the Navy didn't bite. It wasn't until the aftermath of World War I, 1914-1918, that the world's militaries, including that of the United States, recognized the strategic value of such technology, and began incorporating it into their arsenals. The teleautomatics had found their moment. Wireless Power Transmission From 1901 to 1906, Tesla dedicated much of his time and personal savings to what could be considered his most ambitious, albeit somewhat fantastical, project. His vision was to create an electrical transmission system capable of delivering free energy and global communication without the constraints of wires. Securing financial support from a group of investors led by the formidable J.P. Morgan, Tesla embarked on his grand endeavor in 1901. The plan included the construction of a power plant, and an enormous power transmission tower. Tesla's vision came to life at the Wardenclyffe Laboratory on Long Island, New York. Capitalizing on the prevailing belief of the time that the Earth's atmosphere conducted electricity, Tesla conceived an ambitious plan for a global network. This network would feature power transmitting and receiving antennas suspended 30,000 feet, 9,100 meters, in the air by balloons. However, as Tesla's colossal project unfolded, its sheer scale led to doubts among investors about its feasibility. Gradually losing support, Tesla faced a challenging situation. Complicating matters, his rival Guglielmo Marconi, backed by the substantial financial support of steel magnate Andrew Carnegie, and Thomas Edison, made significant strides in his own radio transmission developments. Faced with waning support and formidable competition, Tesla reluctantly abandoned his wireless power project in 1906. The grand vision of a global wireless energy network, suspended in the air, would have to wait for a more receptive time. Later life and death. In 1922, burdened by significant debt resulting from his unsuccessful wireless power project, Tesla found himself in dire straits. Financial woes compelled him to vacate the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City, his residence since 1900, and seek more affordable accommodation at the St. Regis Hotel. During his time at the St. Regis, Tesla found solace in a unique pastime. He developed a fondness for feeding pigeons on the windowsill of his room, and, displaying his compassionate side, he often brought weak or injured birds into his living space to care for them, and nurse them back to health. 
In the midst of personal challenges, Tesla's connection with these feathered companions provided a sense of solace and purpose. In a poignant reflection on his connection with a special pigeon, Tesla expressed his deep affection, I have been feeding pigeons, thousands of them for years. But there was one, a beautiful bird, pure white with light grey tips on its wings, that one was different. It was a female. I had only to wish and call her, and she would come flying to me. I loved that pigeon as a man loves a woman, and she loved me. As long as I had her, there was a purpose to my life. In the midst of life's challenges, Tesla found solace and purpose in the companionship of this unique feathered friend, highlighting the profound impact that even the smallest connections can have on one's sense of meaning and fulfillment. In late 1923, Tesla faced eviction from the St. Regis due to unpaid bills and complaints arising from the presence of pigeons in his room. This marked the beginning of a decade characterized by Tesla's transient living arrangements, as he moved from one hotel to another, leaving a trail of unpaid bills in his wake. The smell of his pigeon companions was a persistent issue. In 1934, a turning point arrived when Tesla's former employer, Westinghouse Electric Company, extended a lifeline. They initiated a monthly payment of $125 as a consulting fee for Tesla, also covering his rent at the Hotel New Yorker. This support provided a measure of stability for the inventor during a period marked by financial struggles and nomadic living. In 1937, at the age of 81, Tesla's life took a dramatic turn when he was struck by a taxicab while crossing a street near the New Yorker Hotel. Despite suffering a severely wrenched back and broken ribs, Tesla, true to his resilient nature, declined extensive medical attention. The true extent of his injuries remained unclear, and Tesla never fully recovered. On January 7, 1943, at the age of 86, Tesla passed away in solitude in his room at the New Yorker Hotel. The cause of death was officially recorded as coronary thrombosis, a heart attack. Three days later, on January 10, New York City Mayor Fiorello La Guardia delivered a eulogy for Tesla, broadcast live over WNYC radio. On January 12, a crowd of over 2,000 people gathered for Tesla's funeral at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. Following the funeral, Tesla's remains were cremated at Ferncliff Cemetery in Ardsley, New York, marking the conclusion of the extraordinary life of one of history's most visionary inventors. Amid the backdrop of World War II, concerns arose about whether Tesla, being of Austrian birth, might have possessed devices or designs that could aid Nazi Germany. Following his death, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, took action and seized Tesla's possessions. However, the investigation yielded no substantial findings, with the FBI reporting that there was nothing of interest. The conclusion drawn was that, since around 1928, Tesla's work had taken on a more speculative, philosophical, and promotional nature. While he delved into ideas related to the production and wireless transmission of power, the FBI found no evidence of new, sound, workable principles or methods for achieving such results in Tesla's later work. In the 1944 book titled Prodigal Genius, The Life of Nikola Tesla, written by journalist and historian John Joseph O'Neill, it is asserted that Tesla himself claimed to have never slept more than two hours per night. Instead, Tesla mentioned dozing during the day as a way to recharge his batteries. There are reports suggesting that Tesla went to remarkable lengths in his pursuit of scientific endeavors, such as spending a continuous 84 hours working in his laboratory without sleep. These anecdotes provide a glimpse into Tesla's extraordinary work ethic and unconventional approach to managing his energy and time. Legacy Nikola Tesla is estimated to have been granted approximately 300 patents worldwide for his inventions during his lifetime. While some of his patents remain unaccounted for or are archived, 
there is documentation for at least 278 known patents across 26 countries. The majority of these patents were obtained in the United States, Britain, and Canada. It's worth noting that Tesla did not attempt to patent many of his other inventions and ideas, contributing to the perception that his inventive output may have been even more extensive than the documented patents suggest. Tesla's approach to intellectual property was unconventional, and he often prioritized the advancement of science over personal financial gain. Nikola Tesla's influence extends far beyond the realm of science and technology, making a lasting impact on popular culture. His legacy is prominently featured in various forms of entertainment, including movies, TV shows, video games, and multiple genres of science fiction. For instance, in the 2006 film The Prestige, David Bowie portrays Tesla as he develops an extraordinary electro-replicating device for a magician. Disney's 2015 movie Tomorrowland, a world beyond envisions Tesla collaborating with Thomas Edison, Gustav Eiffel, and Jules Verne to discover a better future in an alternate dimension. The 2019 film The Current War depicts a history-based battle between Tesla, played by Nicholas Holt, and Thomas Edison, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, in the famous War of the Currents. These representations in popular culture showcase the enduring fascination with Tesla's life, ideas, and contributions to science and technology, cementing his status as a cultural icon. Nikola Tesla's contributions to the field of electricity and technology have been widely recognized and honored over the years. In 1917, he was awarded the Edison Medal, one of the most prestigious electrical prizes in the United States. In 1975, Tesla was posthumously inducted into the Inventors Hall of Fame, a fitting acknowledgement of his groundbreaking inventions. In 1983, the United States Postal Service issued a commemorative stamp in honor of Tesla, further cementing his place in history. More recently, in 2003, a group of investors led by engineer and futurist Elon Musk founded Tesla Motors, a company dedicated to producing electric cars. The company's name pays homage to Tesla's pioneering work in electric power. The establishment of Tesla Motors is a testament to the enduring impact of Tesla's vision and his influence on the development of electric vehicles in the modern era. And there you have it, the incredible journey of Nikola Tesla, a visionary whose impact is still felt today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to A Quick Note for more captivating stories from history and beyond. Thanks for joining us on this exploration, and until next time, stay curious.